Okay, let's talk about exterior angles in convex polygons. Um, exterior angles are the angles that are formed in a polygon if you take the side of a polygon and continue it past where it intersects with the next side. So if we see over here where this, uh, the side of this uh, polygon here has sort of been extended off into the ether and this side here next to it has done the same thing, then the angle formed between them, shaded here in blue, is an exterior angle. Now that's obviously counter to the interior angles in here that we talked about in the last lesson. So exterior angles of polygon are kind of interesting because no matter how many sides there are, the, ex the total of the exterior angles is always 360 degrees as long as it's a convex polygon, which is kind of fascinating. I mean, anything from you know a triangle with three sides up to a dodecagon, which has 12 sides, and way on up, uh, you know, just the side of a circle that may have hundreds and hundreds of sides. All of the exterior angles always add up to be 360 degrees. Now, um, that also matter, or also is the case if you are to go the other direction. You can see if we start here and move on around the shape, what I'm doing is sort of extending the sides in a clockwise direction as I travel around the shape. You can do that in a counterclockwise direction also, which is what the second figure is about. And you can see that in the second figure, all the angles that are colored the same color as in the first figure are congruent with those with that same angle in the other figure. Now finally, the last thing that we want to sort of point out here is that if you have a regular polygon, remember that means that all of the angles are the same. Um, if it's a regular polygon, then since the angles all add up to be 360 degrees, you can find the, ang the uh, angle major of any of those exterior angles simply by dividing 360 degrees by the number of sides. Then, of course, they're all going to be the same, so they'll all, all end up with whatever that measure comes out to be. And that's really it. So let's take a look at how this applies to our uh, example questions.